Hello everyone, my name is Legend Rani and this game is Rise of Kingdoms and we have one of the most awaited videos Training Day for Mightiest Governor back at 100 million power On this video, I'm training for the Mightiest Governor event. I'm already over a hundred million power so i'm gonna give you some tips and advices regarding the mightiest governor i'm gonna give you some tips and advices regarding the training and i'm also gonna try a lot of troops pretty much as much as i have speed ups now before this event there was another event which it was the lord of war so this event actually happened like two days before the mightiest governor nobody was actually training for it i obviously had a lot of speed up saved because i wanted to train but i wanted to find the right events to train so i started going for the lord of war i didn't record it because the amount of troops that i first had to train was pretty low so I was like, what should I actually record when I'm just training like 7-8 reserve, just training like 3 million power or something like that, 300k troops, so I didn't. But then players were keep taunting, were keep taunting each other and taunting me as well, so I had to train another 100k, I had to train another 100k, so obviously I didn't record that, it wasn't worth it. But in the end I got the rank 1 because I'm really stubborn when it's about events and it's, it's challenging as well. It's, it's fun in the same time and very expensive in the same time, all together put on a side. So I had to train, I had to train about 820,000 troops, T5 troops to actually win it. Pretty, pretty ex expensive Lord of War, right? You can definitely win at least one Mightiest Governor with this. Now going back on our Mightiest Governor training video which i recorded so this is one advice that i can give you from one mightiest governor to another it takes about 16 days to if you use 20,000 reserves but why is this helpful on tier 5 troops if you finish the reserves from one mightiest governor to another you pretty much spend another two days of speed ups because it's 14 days from one mightiest governor to another mightiest governor, 14 days, then you spend another two days of speed ups and you pretty much can gain about 9 million points or 8.8 .8 million points to be more precisely. That's a quite a boost that you can start a mightiest governor with if you have the reserve, if you have the 20,000 reserves. This is something that I do from one mightiest governor to another, it does help a lot. Now, before you also want to go training, there's a couple of things you want to keep in mind, which is the kingdom training buff you see over there on the top. If you don't have the lost temple or in, you're in a new kingdom, then you definitely don't have to wait for that. But you definitely want to pick up a rune. And the reason I was mentioning, I'm also waiting for the duke title. I don't have it. The duke title grants you another 10% training speed. The rune that I have right now, it's only 5% training speed, which is not really the best. But in situations like this, you just have to use what you have. So I'm just going to use this 5% training rune because it's the best that I have the duke title we have the buff so the only thing that i'm missing right now is literally good rune the good 15 percent training rune for that reason i'm also right now i'm with germany civilization because germany civilization grants you another five percent training speed up when you want to train a large amount of troops this is one advice that i'm also giving you you can change the civilization just temporary to a civilization where you can actually train a lot of troops for me, I can afford it because obviously I also spend money into the game. So I do have gems to keep going back and forth to, uh, from a civilization to another. But what I trained in the Lord of War and what I'm going to train now, it goes close to 2 million troops. So when you train like over a million troops, it's definitely worth it to switch civilization. That 5% training actually makes a difference. But when you just wait for like months and months and you're not training just the regular training speed up, I would rather be a better civilization. I'm not saying that uh, Germany is not a good civilization, but I would just want to be a civilization that I like the most. So I would rather be Spain or Ottoman or whichever other civilization. So I'm going to go ahead and pop about 25 reserves because I know I definitely have the troops for it. 
and this is when the beauty is going to start 20,000 reserve 16 days now if i would have had that 10 percent training speed ups because i already know this would have gone about 15 days so 15 days to actually train 22,000 t5s is pretty pretty insanely good so let's go ahead and let's spam the speed up this is how easy it is to throw away billions of resources and <laughs> large amount of speed ups just by clicking and going really really fast now my plan is after i'm finishing with my t5s or after i'm finishing the amount of t5s that i want to train is actually going for some t4 i'm lacking some t4 really really bad and that's um some other large amount of troops that i'm going to train in this video so i started with about 6.1 million troops and i think i'm training about 900 850k troops because i'm also training a lot of tier 4 or maybe a little bit more uh, tier 4 as well close to 900k give or take we will see at the end what's the final number of troops the reason I'm training so many archers, you're probably wondering, is because Ark of Osiris. So I'm using just one march of archers right now in uh, the Ark of Osiris, and I'm literally running low, even with 800k. So I train it a little bit more because I'm also planning to probably use two marches of archers in Ark of Osiris in the future. And you definitely want to have a tiny bit more archers than just having the two perfect marches so you don't have to heal so I'll probably even have to train even more t5 archers for arc of osiris probably go to around 1.5 million so another half a million t5 archers i've done the math approximately and the moment you reach about 120 million power that's when you kind of have the amount of troops that you need for arc of osiris and in the same time, I'll have the T4 that I want for KVK. So about 120 million power is kind of the optimal power that I would say is the right amount of power when you actually don't need to train any troops unless you just want to win events. Training calves because who doesn't love a lot of calves? Goes pretty fast, isn't it? Even the speed ups, even the resources, even the troops count going up. It goes really, really fast, just popping 22,000 reserves. So I'm at 57 million points already, just training T5s, 57 million points, meaning that that's almost 600k T5s. Now the speed ups count is going very low, and I think I'm going to pop reserves for T4 starting to pop reserves for t4 yep gonna speed this up i think i want to see how many speed ups i have left that's the reason i'm speeding this up so that should bring me to around 60 something million points in the mightiest governor if i'm correct Low on speed ups, 3000 hours is nothing crazy. So I'm going to pop another 10, per 10 boosts. Yep. And those are going in T4 infantry. All of them. 10 days and 17 hours. So that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. With the 10%, I think this is about 10 days. Which is really good. So trying to have as much training speed ups when you train large amount of troops, it does help tremendous. Once I'm finishing off with, with the training uh, and everything, I'm going to switch back to another civilization. I think for KVK3, I might be Ottoman because I think skill damage might have um, higher utility on the next KVK. So I think I'll switch to Ottoman for the next KVK. That's kind of my plan. In the next couple of days, I'll probably be Ottoman or Spain. I still have to level up a lot of commanders, so the 10% experience might just help me a bunch i'll definitely decide but i'm not staying um germany definitely not staying germany once i'm done with the training so i'm at a hundred and almost seven million power right now 
that's pretty phenomenal, isn't it? Even training T4, still the power goes up a little bit. Yeah, very, very low on speed ups. Probably a couple more boosts and that's it. Just going two by two because you never know. <laughs> I'm also trying to to train as fast as I can because I know they will take take uh, away the Duke. So obviously, it's it's kind of a race as well of of trying to get get rid of your troops. So 107 million power, 74 million points in the Mightiest Governor. Probably going to get the the first place because nobody is actually racing for Tomiris. Now, why is Tomiris very important? Tomiris is very important when you do multiple rallies. So when you do more than one rally on the structures, you need Tomiris because of her force skill is really, really important. And at the same time, they do a decent amount of damage, Edward and Tomiris. I already have Edward, so why not go for Tomiris and actually max her out? Because I still want to train some T4, that's why I'm still going to be German for the next couple of days. So everything that I'm making, any kind of speed ups that I'm making for on the next couple of days, maybe two weeks, I'm still going to train T4s so I can be ready for KVK. And after that, I'm going to switch to the civilizations that I want actually want to stay on. I forgot to mention why I believe that I'm actually going to, to get rank one. That is because we have a limited kill event in our kingdom. So when you go to the stage ranking is one, two, three, there's four stages. One is the training, two is killing barbarians, three is gathering resources, four is power increase, research or building and troops as well. But still you get a lot more from buildings and research. And the fifth one is the kill event, but we have a limited kill event, which is 15 million. So my overall ranking power uh, or points is 75 million. So how much power can people increase by research and technology and they can do 15 million points on the kill event so i'm pretty much have guarantee rank one on this tomiris event you might think that that is actually wrong like why put a limit on the kill event because kill event is a lot of resource consumption so this is something that a lot of players don't think about but kvk it's all about resources and team effort so if just one player has a lot of resources you can actually help the kingdom you can help the kingdom with resources. So going on to the present day, because that was a recording, that's why I'm saying present day. I'm at 107 million power right now. I have the reserves going on on tier 4 troops, which in 9 days and something they will be done. And after that, I'll probably do another reserves. Once those reserves will be done, I'll probably use the speed ups that I, I will definitely have at that moment because I'm probably going to buy some bundles as well and I'm going to switch civilization. So I'll probably have to finish off my troops by then. So I'm at 7 million troops. I started at 6 150, meaning that I trained about 860,000 troops, give or take 860,000 troops. Now my goal next is another at least another half a million t5 archers i don't need any more t5 infantry i'm okay with the t5 calves as well but i need a half a million t5 archers i need more t4 infantry more t4 calves and more archers at least to get the t4 archers to a million my calves up to probably two million and my infantry to maybe T4 to about 600k. So there's still a lot of T4 troops that I need to train for KVK. That's about 800, 1.1 million, another 1.6 million troops. Probably a little bit more and will get me to around 9 million troops. When you have 9 million troops, that should be the right amount for either Ark of Osiris or KVK so you can also spend troops. Another 2 million troops, that's pretty significant. When the KVK 4 ended, I was around 5 million troops. So I literally trained 2 million troops because I was what? 81, 82 million power when KVK4 ended. And now I'm at 107 million power. So that's 25 million power boost. And if I go on my information, I'm still not at my highest power ever. So I'm still 5 million power, 5.7 actually below my highest power. So definitely still need to train a lot of troops but it's hurting on speed ups.
right now if i go to my speed ups it's empty it's literally literally empty so i need to rebuild back the speed ups before i'm gonna start training but don't forget titles kingdom buff runes all this stuff it does definitely helps a lot civilization if you want to change civilization that's why i'm with germany right now so it's definitely not a bad civilization but i'm just not happy with the teutonic knights I did play in Ark of Osiris with the Teutonic Knights, they are quite alright. I really don't have anything against them, but I just like Spain a lot more because personally I believe that the experience gained from Barbarians and other neutral units is way more beneficial than actually having some action points recovery and training speed all the time. It This does help for to play the training speed action points recovery. But Spain, until you have a certain amount of commanders, so you don't need experience anymore, is just way more beneficial, to tell you the truth. And the Conquistadors, they have the highest amount of attack. Now, at this moment, the commanders, they are going somehow in the KVK with all the KVK bonuses in the Lost Kingdom. They are going up to like 300% attack and it just goes over any other units in attack. Since they are damaging units you know, I prefer to do the highest amount of damage possible. That's why I like Conquistador so much. You can do the math yourself. Because, for example, Arabia Cavs have 227 and Spain Cavs have 232. So you can do 300% plus to 227 and 300% plus to 232. And you will find yourself the result. And if you even want, you can even add the 5% from Arabia and you'll see that still Spain it's a little bit over the top and you gain the 5% defense as extra. That's just a little bit for someone who actually wants to look into it why I'm actually liking Spain so much. Anyway that's pretty much about this video it's meant to be about training but <laughs> apparently I talked a little bit about civilizations and why I like Spain so much. So until next time this is your boy Geroni signing off. Peace out, yo, and take care. See you on the next one. Be safe out there.